Hello everyone, I am Dorivik Villena Arma, a physical therapy intern from RTRMF. And today, we will be talking about activity-based upper extremity training for spinal cord injury patients. Let's get started. Spinal cord injury results to either complete or partial loss of motor and sensory function with alteration in autonomic function which can lead to decreased functional ability. Specifically, for people with a cervical spinal cord injury, the recovery of upper extremity function is a primary goal. And through the help of more recent studies, the researchers have begun to explore the use of mast practice interventions to promote functional recovery and corticomotor and spinal reorganization. Based on mast practice principles used in constraint-induced movement therapy, similar training techniques are applied by having the patients practice unimanual or bimanual upper extremity activities two hours per day five days a week for three weeks and applying sensory electrical stimulation to the volar surface of the wrist over the median nerve while the patients perform the different tasks augmented the mast practice now patients with cervical spinal cord injury practice five main types of unimanual or bimanual upper extremity activities and these are finger isolation Grasp, grasp with rotation, pinch and pinch with rotation. Starting with finger isolation activities, these include activities such as typing on a keyboard, dialing phone numbers, and playing piano notes. On the other hand, grasp activities included squeezing a spray bottle, cutting paper with scissors, and building with Legos. While an example of grasp with rotation activities include pouring liquid from one container to another and opening containers. Then pinch activities included picking up objects, threading a large needle, and writing. And finally, pinch with rotation activities included screwing knots on bolts, locking and unlocking a lock with key, and turning a doorknob. And through this treatment approach, the researchers who studied mass practice intervention found significant improvements in hand and arm function among SCI patients. Alright, thank you for watching and see you again on my next video. Bye!